My name is Mary Elich, otherwise known as the First Lady of Fun. I met my husband when I was only 16 at church. It was love at first sight. We wedded in 1872, and two years later, we packed up and moved to Colorado. We first opened a cafe in Durango, and the cafe was so successful, we moved to Denver in 1882. We opened a new successful restaurant in 1886, which was on 1561 Arapahoe Street, called Elitch Place Dining Room. John helped start an athletic club, and I was president of the Denver Art Club. I loved animals, so we adopted many cats and dogs. Our business grew, and we bought a 16-acre farm, which had a farmhouse, cherry trees, cottonwood trees, and veggie and fruit gardens. We can now grow food for our restaurant. A circus owner gave us baby animals to care for, our, and our friend, Adam, shopped for other animals. We had bears, lion cubs, and monkeys. We loved the animals so much that we thought that others would love it just as much. We opened Elitch's Zoological Gardens on May 1st, 1890. Many people came. Once again, business grew and the park became a place for music, picnics, baseball games, pony and goat cart rides. We opened a cafe in the park and we also had vaudeville shows. We closed for the season on Labor Day. Our first summer was great. We sold our restaurant on Arapahoe Street and John used some of the money from our first summer to tour California with his acting group. John caught pneumonia while there and died March 1, 1891. I was now a 34-year-old, heartbroken widow. I was devastated and for a while I didn't want to do anything, but I knew that wasn't what John would have wanted. John usually handled the business part of the garden, so I had to learn quick. I turned to animals. They are my family now. There was Rex, a handsome lion, Ed, my favorite lion, Sam, a bear, and a talented dancer, Dude, a naughty monkey who stole hats and shredded them, Silky, an ostrich who pulled two carts around, and finally, Jess, an elephant who cleared big tree stumps. I also had other animals like deer, elk, and rattlesnakes. Later, we had a baby seal who was the first animal to be born inside the zoo. I loved each and every one of them. Elitchus was now the first zoo west of the Mississippi. I tended to everything and kept Elitchus running to keep his memory alive. Elitchus was a beautiful place where you could go and just be peaceful or have fun. It brought people closer together. You didn't have to worry about the stress of the outside world. Elitchus was amazing.